Yo guys, what's up? It's T-Bot here. Today we're going to be doing a video on Clash Royale. So finally, after years of playing Clash of Clans, we're finally making a video on the sequel or the almost sequel to Clash of Clans. And we're going to be starting out by actually unlocking this magical chest. We're actually going to be jamming it up for 67 gems. And I do have 67 gems. And by the way, I am a level 3 in this game. So um, just a spoiler alert if I just say some things wrong or I get the lingo wrong and I just attack very, very badly. That's why. So as you you can see we're taking the arrows from this box also the bomb tower we've unlocked the rare rare card the bomb tower so now let's get on to the next one valkyrie another rare card so we got a double rare card in this magical chest now an epic card prince and now we're gonna get another epic card a goblin barrel so very exciting things coming in this magical chest now let's go ahead and find a battle. So we're in the Bone Pit Arena 2. We're attacking Cheetah here. You can see my troops at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to send in a Prince immediately. So the Prince tends to do the job, I assume, um, because I've just heard that the Prince is very, very good. And he's sending in minions immediately. So obviously, I'm not doing the best job because I am new to this game. So my strategy is basically to spam things at the top of the bridge. And I'm not exactly sure if that works out, but it has gotten me to 400 trophies. Um, I just have to watch some attack strategies or things like that on YouTube to see how I can improve um, my, my strategy here. And the Valkyrie seems to do a lot of damage against the skeletons all around her, which makes sense um, because the Valkyrie does do damage like that in the game. And now we're going to send in the Knight here, take, trying to take out the Valkyrie. And it looks like this guy is actually doing quite a lot of damage to me right off the bat. I'm going to send in a Bomb Tower. Hopefully this does the job. So this Bomb Tower is actually going to be doing quite a lot of damage to the Giant here. The Giant is going to head over to the Bomb Tower. Tower, try to take it out I'm gonna send in a bomber hopefully the giant dies out here and I know the giant takes a lot a lot of hits and actually does quite a lot of damage as opposed to clash of clans so now I think we're gonna be sending in a giant or a knight let's go with the prince actually I forgot what that was called it's called the prince and this guy's gonna be sending in a P.E.K.K.A going in on the right side and these guys just do so much damage the princes are definitely OP and it looks like that tower is almost gone virtually gone I'm gonna send in all of those skeletons right there to help that prince out it looks like the prince is dead but there has been a lot of work done to the left tower there and the minions are currently attacking that knight the knight is trying to reach that tower and it didn't work out so well so i'm going to send in my minions which are level one i believe um, attacking level four minions and now these goblins are going in with their spears and they do so so much damage and I believe that uh, they're getting actually really, really close to taking out uh, the main tower there. So I'm going to send in another bomb tower. And these bomb towers definitely seem to do the job. So I'm going to keep sending them in. And now 60 seconds remaining. So double elixir. We're going to be sending in as many troops as we can to take out the tower on the left to tie this game up. Hopefully we can win. And this prince is definitely going to be able to take out that tower very, very soon here. And that was my plan. That is one crown on the board for me. I'm going to send in a giant Maybe we have a chance at three crowns here. Who knows? We're going to be sending in some minions as well to attack the main tower there. The main tower is taking a lot of hits. It looks like um, it lost a lot more than mine did. And he's just sending in like a level one bomber at the base at the bottom there. And now we're going to be just spamming as many troops as we can. Try to get that tower down. And hopefully we can by the end of the time. Or we'll just have to go to overtime or whatever you call it. Or the extra time. And I'm going to send in another bomb tower here just because the bomb tower is doing just so well um, before I'm going to send in some skeletons take out the giant the giant is going to go down and I noticed that skeletons definitely swarm around the bigger troops while uh, the giants like can't attack the skeletons 60 seconds remaining double elixir this is the overtime now we're going to be sending in a knight can the knight take out that last tower he's going to be actually taken out um, by the skeletons there and this guy has almost taken out my tower, my main tower, almost gotten those three crowns. He's just sending in those fireballs to take out um, as many uh, health points as he can. And I'm going to send in another bomb tower right here, trying to take out as many of his attacking troops as I can. He's getting very, very close. And as soon as that prince loads, I'm going to go ahead and use him at the top of the base to get those three crowns on my side. So just a matter of time before I can do that. And it looks like 14 
seconds are remaining. I'm sending in that level 1 Prince, and even at level 1, he's just so, so powerful, sending in those minions as well, and he's going to be able to get that last tower right there to clutch it out. You can see two seconds remaining. At that two second mark, we finally got it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys want free gems, click the first link down in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Open your mind, this is work ethic 99% of you couldn't comprehend the method Cause you too wrapped up in the money And bitches, I get riches But never sacrifice the art Been real from the start now